from Department of Biochemistry, SRM Dental College, Ramapuram Campus. In this video, we are going to learn about the homopolysaccharide, which is an important short notes question in the dental syllabus. Polysaccharides or glycans, which are the carbohydrates which on hydrolysis yield many number of sugars or sugar units. Here we can see the classification of polysaccharides. It is classified into homopolysaccharides and heteropolysaccharides. Homopolysaccharides are the carbohydrates which yield same type of sugars. The heteropolysaccharides are the carbohydrate which on hydrolysis yield different type of sugars or the sugar derivatives. Now we can see the classification of homopolysaccharide. They are classified into storage polysaccharides and structural polysaccharides. Storage polysaccharides or reserve polysaccharide which are present in both plant and animal origin. The example for storage polysaccharide in plants is starch. In the animal storage polysaccharide example is glycogen. Cellulose is the plant structural polysaccharide which give form and shape to the plants. In the animal, the chitin form the crustaceans, the exoskeleton of crustaceans. These are the possible questions in theory and orals in the homopolysaccharides topic. As we already discussed, polysaccharides or otherwise known as glycans, so, the homopolysaccharides are otherwise known as homoglycans. If it is formed of glucose, we say glucans. If the polysaccharide is formed of fructose, we say it is fructans. If the homopolysaccharide is formed of galactose, it is known as galactans. So, these are the examples of homopolysaccharides. Starch is a reserve carbohydrate of the plant kingdom which is a homopolysaccharide made of D-glucose units. As we all know, the starch is present in potatoes, tapioca and many grains and it is a non-reducing carbohydrate and the two components of the starch are amylose and amylopectin. In our daily life, we take starch in the form of rice and wheat. Amylose and amylopectin are the two components of starch. In this slide, we can see what are all the properties of amylose and amylopectin. Amylose is soluble in water and it gives blue color with iodine. It forms 10 to 20 percent of the total component of starch and it is unbranched. That means it is linear in structure formed of only alpha 1,4 linkages whereas amylopectin is insoluble in water and forms violet color with iodine. It forms the major component of the starch nearly 80 to 90 percent. It is a branched structure formed of alpha 1,4 and 1,6 linkages. It is the mixing of the blue color and violet color we see in the iodine test it forms a deep intense color with iodine. Starch can be hydrolyzed by acids and by enzymes. In our body, the starch is hydrolyzed by the enzyme. As we know, amylase acts on starch to form maltose. Maltose by the intestinal enzyme, maltase, it forms glucose. Whereas, in the lab, we can hydrolyze the starch by using acid, say concentrated hydrochloric acid. The starch, it will form glucose not by a one step reaction but step by step through the formation of maltose. Starch first it will form dextrins, the different dextrins formed during the course of hydrolysis of starch or amylodextrin, erythrodextrin and acrodextrin which will give various color with iodine. Here we can see the structure of the amylose and amylopectin. The amylose is a linear structure formed of only alpha 1,4 linkages. In the amylopectin we can see both 
alpha 14 and 16 linkages like how starch is stored by plants we store glucose in the form of glycogen it where it is stored it is stored in liver and muscles it is a highly branched structure formed of both 14 and 16 linkages both are alpha in configuration glycogen is a high molecular weight polysaccharide and it forms red color with iodine what is glycogenesis and what is glycogenolysis the synthesis of glycogen is known as the glycogenesis the breakdown of glycogen is known as glycogenolysis 80% of the glycogen is stored in liver the structure of the glycogen is similar to amylopectin that is formed of both alpha 14 and 16 linkages here we can see the alpha 16 linkage which form the branch point in the structure with the extensive branching the glycogen will similarly look like a tree with the extensive branching the glycogen look like a tree cellulose is a structural polysaccharide which constitute the main constituent of cell walls of plants structure wise it is linear that is no branch points are observed and it is formed of 14 linkages all of beta configuration it is a homopolysaccharide of glucose it is not digested by human it is uh, uh, because it is not digested it forms the fiber in our diet this is a part of the structure of cellulose here we flanked the disaccharide of cellulose is the cellobios here we can see the two glucose linked by beta linkage as cellulose is not digested in our body because we lack enzymes cellulase so it forms a fiber in our diet inulin is a homopolysaccharide of fructose that is it is a fructan which is present in chicory bulb of dahlia onion and garlic and it is a low molecular weight polysaccharide as inulinase is absent in human we cannot digest inulin and it is formed of beta 1 2 linkages here we can see the structure of inulin where the fructose molecules are linked by beta 1 2 linkages here we can see the structure of the amylose and amylopectin the amylose is a linear structure formed of only alpha 14 linkages in the amylopectin we can see both alpha 14 and 16 linkages dextrin is a complex branched glucan which is composed of glucose linked by 14 16 and 13 glycosidic bonds they are synthesized when certain bacteria are allowed to grow in sucrose solution sucrose serves as a source of d glucose karyogenic bacteria appear to enable these organisms to form plaque here we can see the dental plaque which lead to the dental caries dextrins are used as plasma volume expanders to increase the blood volume in case of blood loss or the unbranched homopolysaccharides made of n acetyl d glucosamine linked by beta 14 glycosidic bonds it as we already told it is form the major component of exoskeleton of all species of arthropods this is the structure of chitin here we can see the chitin form as exoskeleton in earth like prawns and some insects Hmm. agar is a polymer of sulfated galactose unit which is obtained from sea weeds agar is odorless and tasteless and has ability to absorb lot of water agar plates are used to culture bacteria in microbiology as agar is not digested by human and no calories derived it is used as a bulk to prevent constipation 